All right, hello and welcome to this video about Duke Energy and net metering. I'm uh, going to talk about some of the uh, benefits of uh, net metering through Duke Energy. You know, not not all utility companies have the best net metering programs. Not all states have the best uh, net metering programs. Duke Energy, you know, has some uh, some things about it that that do make it a very very good uh, uh, experience. You know, a, a, a good uh, uh, kind of a net metering partner, you know, for homeowners that are looking to save money with solar energy. Uh, my name's Adam. I'm the creator of the net zero home .com. Um, uh, I also wrote a book about, uh, solar called the definitive guide to residential solar in the U S I'll share, uh, uh, more about that here in just a minute. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, basically, uh, Duke energy offers net metering to customers with solar panels or other renewable energy systems, right? It's not, it's not just, uh, limited to PV systems, but other uh, other renewable energy sources, um, and it'll, and net metering allows Duke Energy customers to uh, sell their excess energy that their solar system produces back to the grid, back to Duke Energy, right? Um, uh, to in which can help to kind of offset the cost of going solar, right? Um, so Duke Duke offers one to one net metering. Um, and what that means is Duke will will buy it. Duke will sell you one kilowatt hour of electricity for the same amount that they will buy it back to you from. Right. So if your if your solar system produces more energy than your home uses. Right. And you have access uh, energy. You can you can sell it back to Duke at the same rate as you buy it from them. Right. And what what's Duke going to do with it? They're going to go and sell it to your you know, your friends and neighbors and, uh, you know, uh, you know, businesses in your, in your community, um, uh, that, that they also serve. Right. So, so for example, you buy electricity for 22 cents a kilowatt hour, Duke buys it back for 22 cents a kilowatt hour. Right. Um, you know, one thing that's really helpful to understand, um, you know, when it comes to Duke energy and solar, um, is, um, you know, you want to know what you're paying currently per kilowatt hour, right No, So not just per month, but like, per kilowatt hour because if you look online you know it's going to vary from state to state but like if you if you look online you'll see that average duke energy customers are paying 16 cents per kilowatt hour of electricity and maybe that's what your bill will say but that's not necessarily the case right because you're also going to see like other charges on there like like you know you might see delivery charges right or uh time of use charges that's the tow charges um, and it's not just Duke. I mean, all utility companies do this and it's clearly meant to, uh, uh, you know, to kind of, um, you know, just make it not super clear what you're paying for electricity, because if it's not clear to you, then it's, uh, you know, it's easier to get you pay more. Right. Um, OK, so the best way to determine what you're paying per kilowatt hour uh, of electricity is to take your monthly bill amount or just the electric portion of your bill Right. So if you're if you're, uh, you know, um, if you're also paying for natural gas. So if you're not paying for natural gas, you can just take the whole bill. If you're paying for natural gas too, just remove the natural gas portion and then and then do this and then divide that number of the total monthly bill by the kilowatt hours of electricity that you used for the month. So you're going to see that very plainly on your bill. It's going to tell you know, Duke is going to tell you how many kilowatt hours, just like you see here. In this example, that that circle in red, um, you're you're actually seeing 1,080 kilowatt hours um, on this particular bill, right? So if your bill was $275 and you used 1,200 kilowatt hours for the month, your cost uh, uh, per kilowatt hour is 23 cents, right? And we've seen you know Duke Energy customers in Florida paying up to you know 29, 30 cents uh, per per kilowatt hour. Um, uh, you know, and they were paying half that, you know, a month, I mean, you know, two, two, two years ago. Right. Um, so, you know, with solar, you know, we can, we can lower your cost per kilowatt to maybe 15 cents or less, you know, depending on your situation, there's other, there's factors that we need to look at. That's why it's best to, um, you know, to, to, you know, get a quote and have us, you know, kind of take a look at, you know, your home and your roof and, um, you know, put together a proposal for you. Right. Um, uh, and this could potentially reduce your monthly electric cost by 50%, right? It's like your, 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 you know, your, 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 uh, bill to Duke is going down to next to nothing, you know, $20 a month, maybe, 
right? For the, you know, for electricity. And then, um, and then, and then, uh, uh, you know, then you're, then you're, you know, either buying the solar system or financing the solar system for less money than you were paying to Duke, right? So, so this is a good alternative to Duke, to Duke Energy. If you're looking for an alternative to Duke Energy, you'd still be a customer with Duke. Duke would be more operating as a virtual battery for your solar system, right? And the best part is that you get to lock in that lower rate for the next 25 years, you know, if you were to finance it for that long, rather than being subject to Duke's annual rate hikes, right? So if you're paying 22 cents a kilowatt hour now, you know, there's a good chance that in five years you might be paying, you know, 32 cents a kilowatt hour or, you know, in, in, in five, 10 years, you know, could, you know, very likely that you could be paying 60 cents a kilowatt hour or more than double what you're paying right now. Right. But with solar, we're able to lock in the lower rate. You're paying less than what you're paying now. And we lock it in for the next 25 years. Right. And you can sell the excess energy back to the utility company, back to Duke through net metering. And so if this if this sounds interesting to you, if, 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 if uh, uh, you know, if, the, if this sounds like a cool way to you know, save some money on energy and and, uh, you know, shield yourself from the constant, you know, from the rate hikes that you're going to see from Duke over the next several years. Right. Then, uh, you know, I, I, I highly recommend you get a copy of my book um, uh, uh, where in, in you can, uh, you know, see that down below and you can get uh, get a solar quote as well. Um, uh, real quick, before we end this video, I do recommend choosing a national installer with a local presence. Right. So our exclusive solar installer is a national company who's done over one hundred and thirty thousand solar installations across the U.S. Right. And we have branches in Florida and South Carolina and you know, all, all, all over the place, right? That serves, you know, uh, uh, you know, lots of territories, right? I also recommend installing solar panels with a company that has a production guarantee, which should not be confused with a manufacturer warranty, right? All reputable solar companies are going to have a warranty on the equipment, right? Uh, but one of the biggest ways that homeowners get a bad deal in solar is when their systems start, start underperforming five to 10 years after they install their panels and they get a bill from from Duke or from their utility company, you know, and it would that they thought was going to, you know, go away. Right. And what a production guarantee um, uh, basically states the amount of electricity your system will produce for the next 25 years. So if it's 12,000 kilowatt hours, if that's what, you know, if that's, if, if it takes 12,000 kilowatt hours to power your home for a year, right. Then we'll say in the contract, we guarantee your system will produce 12,000 kilowatt hours a year for the next 25 years. Right. And if it doesn't, we'll, you know, pay any utility bill that comes as a result or, you know, upgrade the system, add new solar panels and do it at our expense, not at your expense. Right. And that's that's pretty revolutionary in the solar industry because, um, you know, in in, uh, in in years past in solar, you know, a lot of homeowners, um, uh, you know, did get a bad deal because their system started underperforming because they didn't have a production guarantee. So you want to make sure that 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 number is stated clearly in the contract, the annual kilowatt hours of production there. I talk about that as well as lots of other factors for maximizing your, your energy savings and avoiding costly mistakes in the residential solar industry. Uh, you can go, you can get a copy of the book at the net zero home.com uh, slash book or check the description of this video where you can either get the free version, free digital version of the book or um, uh, a uh, um, uh, the physical version you know, if you just pay a few dollars shipping and I will mail a copy of the book to your house. All those links are in the description and more. Check that out and, you know, let, let me know if you have any questions. I'll, I'll answer any questions that you that you that you leave in the comments uh, relating to uh, going solar with with Duke Energy um, and, you know, Duke's uh, net metering policies. And we'll see you in the next one.